Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade Windows 10 operating system to Windows 7. So uh, there was some uh, complex thing when, when you upgrade your machines to Windows 7 to Windows 10 and after upgrade you find like your application is not uh, working as expected in a uh, Windows 10 operating system else you don't like the Windows 10 any other issues might be you have so you can always go and um, uh, downgrade your machine to Windows 7 but uh, I need to give you idea like Windows 10 is uh, latest operating system and Windows 7 has been like already end of life so end of support and end of life if you see it's going to be expired on well, uh, Jan 14, 2020. So means Windows 7 is already expired, uh, and it's end of support, and it's no more supported by Microsoft. So whenever you go and downgrade your operating system, just need to make sure you will not get the security updates and any updates or any support on Windows 7 operating system. But still, if you want to go to Windows 7 and you don't want to use the Windows 10, uh, Windows 10 operating system which you have recently upgraded so there was two things the first thing when you have upgraded your machine like re in a recent you will find these two options like Windows dot old folder this is basically your old operating system which is going to be moved here in windows dot old file during the migration of the windows 10 to windows uh, uh, windows 7 to windows 10 upgrade so this is first thing you need to make sure you have this otherwise you are not be able to uh, downgrade your machine and the second thing you can go here and start go to settings and from there update and security and you will see one option here recovery when you click on recovery you can see here this option go back to windows 7 so this is only this option is only available for 10 days you upgrade the windows 10 so means this is only going to be available for 10 days like previously when when microsoft released windows 10 it was 30 days but now it's uh, they have they have changed it from 30 days to 10 days so basically you have 10 days from the day which you upgraded your operating system your machine or your laptop or pc from windows 7 to windows 10 so if you exp if you have passed already passed the 10 days you will not see this option and also this windows dot old file is going to be deleted from there so this is one thing you have to make sure and what 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 is the option you, if you you don't see like this recovery option or a windows dot old folder inside your windows uh, machine so then it's mail uh, it means from microsoft uh, and you will not be able to downgrade it so you need to clean your machine like format the hard drive and restore your uh, or reinstall windows 7 and that machine and before you format that machine you can always take a backup of like your data like if you're having something placed in um, my computer like C drive or my documents folders or download folder you need to copy those on a USB or any other drive and then you need to wipe the uh, format the machines uh, clean clean the machine and install Windows 7 and then you have to install all the uh, application which you have uh, like required like MS Office or whatever you have installed on Windows 7 you need to reinstall it and then you can uh, um, like restore your data also on that machine so this is the clean installation when you will not get this option which I'm going to show you and if you have if you have not passed the uh, limited time which Microsoft are giving you to go uh, downgrade the Windows uh, 10 to Windows 7 then you are good to go and you can use this feature so let's get it started so I went in settings and then you can go to update and security and then go to recovery and just click here get started so now this is going to take you to the windows 7 operating system which we have installed so why you are going back microsoft is asking general questions so like further region you can mention and if you like uh, my application or devices does not work on windows then you can give any reason so click next and then you can see 
check for updates no thanks I'm, I'm not going to check for updates like it's it's going to say you like uh, check for the updates or like it's going to install uh, windows updates or uh, driver uh, updates like uh, you, you got the nick issue or driver like graphics card issue anything it, it will check for the drivers and all the updates and it's going to apply so need uh, you just need to make sure you have checked this feature also like you have upgraded your drivers and everything and uh, if still if it's not working go to back go back to windows 7 so no thanks i'm good it so what you need to know so this is going to be take uh, uh, while so you need to make sure you have a, like a plugged in power plugged in and you will need to reinstall some programs so basically uh, the application which is does not support from windows 7 to windows 10 migration it's automatically going to be removed from your machine so if you are going back to windows 7 and you find any application is missing you need to reinstall this and this most important thing like if you have already passed three or four days and you have same save some settings save some uh, files there in your machine then you are going to lose those settings so that's okay so click next so it's asking are you are your files are backed up if you not go ahead and take your backup so click next and this is going to say you like you have to know your windows 7 password when you restore if you don't have that password you will not be able to sign it so click next i know the password so this is final thanks for trying windows 10 and this is going to be go back to windows 7 and now this machine is going to reboot and it's going to take hardly 5 to 10 minutes and it's going to revert to windows 7 so you can see the machine is going to restart now and it's going to apply windows 7 uh, operating system on your C drive and then it's going to run from the uh, Windows 7 operating system so I'm going to pause the recording for now once this is done uh, like upgrade is done downgrade is done I'm going to revert, uh, start the video so you can see here it's going to give you a few options like restore your previous window version of Windows so it's going to be take uh, hardly few minutes so I'm going to pause the recording and once this is done I'm going to resume from there so now you can see I am reverted back to Windows 7 so this is good so Microsoft Edge we can remove because this was got installed by Windows 10 so now if I go to my operating system you can see the windows.old file no more just so it's going to be automatically deleted once you like upgrade your or downgrade your machine so we are good you can see all the data which we have on previously on our windows 7 machine we got those data also and if you want to check the applications also you can go ahead and check like common applications which we have before the uh, before the upgrade to windows 7 we got all the applications so this is all about downgrading windows 10 to windows 7 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given me that is thank you once again bye bye